Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Laura. Today I'm going to be doing a YSL unboxing, so let's get started. Today's video is going to be an unboxing, but also at the end, I'm going to compare the item that I am unboxing to two other items from YSL that are comparable. So let's go ahead and open up this box. I ordered this from YSL online and received it really fast. I think it came in like two business days, if that. And I actually opted for the gift wrap option. Um, so let's see, and the reason I did that was because I've bought YSL things in the past, but they don't always come with a box, and I wanted a box for my item. So it came with a shopping bag, which is really cute. I mean, it's kind of bent, but really nice if you're looking to gift someone um, something from YSL and you want the whole sort of boutique experience. Um, and then I think this is just a, oh, you can get a card if you want to have a special message. I just wrote enjoy because it's for myself. Um, and then let's see what this is. This is the receipt. And then here is what I will be unboxing. Here's the box that comes in. And it is a nicer, thick box material, so it does feel luxurious. If you want to keep this, you definitely can. If you want to have like the nice luxe gift experience, you can. I know Valentine's Day is coming up, so this would actually make a really cute Valentine's Day gift. And is the paper. And it comes in the black St. Laurent dust bag. And it is the clutch. And then it has this detachable wristlet so you could wear it around your wrists. I used to be a huge wristlet person back in college whenever I would go out to the bars, I'd always take a wristlet because it was so convenient. But it is detachable. So you can just use it as a clutch if you want, if you have a special event, dinner, whatever. Um, and then here is the inside. And it's a single compartment. And it is black fabric lined interior. You have a pocket here in the back. I don't know if you can see it. But I got this in the dark beige color. It's a color that I have been eyeing for a while with the gold hardware. I really wanted a neutral colored clutch. I have the walk from YSL. I also have two Uptown pouches, which is what I'm going to be comparing this item to. You can find this clutch in a variety of colors. Of course, black, the beautiful dark beige that I got. Um, they have some other colors, which I will share here on the screen. This clutch starts at $7.25 retail. They also have another version, which I'll also share on the screen, that retails for a little bit more because it has a little bit more of a pattern. It's like the envelope style pattern that the envelope bag has, and that one retails for $7.45. So the first bag that I am going to be comparing the clutch to is my wallet on chain, also called a walk. I have it in the black with black hardware. It's also in the pebbled leather, just like the clutch that I just purchased. So let's put them side by side and together you can see that the clutch is slightly taller than the walk but then the walk is longer by just a little bit so it's a similar similar size and shape um, the difference is that the walk does have two compartments and then a chain which is removable. So you can remove it by popping those open and then you can just have the clutch if you want to use it for a, an event. I tend to just tuck the chain into the clutch because I think it's easier. Um, but yeah, you have the two pockets, you have the zip pocket in the center, and then you have a ton of card slots. Next up, I have my Uptown pouches. I have two of these Uptown pouches. The first one I purchased was the smooth black leather Uptown pouch with the gold hardware. And then a few months later, I bought the Uptown pouch in the colored black vintage with the yellow hardware, and it is in the grained pebbled leather. This is actually my favorite leather from 
YSL. If you're going to buy a YSL, I love this leather. If you're looking at the Uptown pouches, I haven't seen this one in a while. I think it might be sold out. There's only one place that I've seen it, which is Bergdorf's, but it has a pre-order and it's slated to launch in August, but it has a previous price. So I am not sure what's going on with the smooth leather, but this one is still available. It comes also in a ton of different colors. They also have a really pretty canvas version one, which comes with a leather trim detail on the flap and on the edges of the bag. That one retails for, I believe, $5.45. And then the leather uptown pouches start at $5.95. And then they go all the way up to, I believe, $6.75. They have this gorgeous mock croc version that's very very pretty but when these pouches first came out they retailed for $4.75 the uptown pouch was originally part of a bag called the uptown tote it came at the front of the bag you could pull the pouch out and use it as a clutch just like this so it was a really great multi-purpose bag it was sort of like two in one but the pouch was so popular that they started selling them on their own and i think when i first got mine it was like around 2019 they were always sold out you could not find them i remember i had to be on like some kind of wait list at Saks, and then finally was able to get the pouch and then a few months later was able to get this version of the pouch I tried looking for the Uptown Tote to see how much it's retailing for these days. And honestly, it's not really available in many places. They did have one on my Teresa and some in Farfetch. But I think for the most part, either they're discontinuing the item or it's seasonal. I'm not really sure. But if you do know, let me know in the comments below. Okay, so back to the pouch. It is a very thin pouch, as you can see here. And then it has a magnetic flap closure. The magnet is really strong, so you don't have to worry about it popping open. Inside, you just have a single pocket. It's also fabric lined, just like the clutch. I think I forgot to mention that the wok is actually leather lined, so that is another big difference between the wok and these other two items. But out of these three items, the Uptown pouch is probably what's going to fit the least. But I want to do a comparison of the three so that if you're looking into these bags and you're trying to figure out which would be the better purchase, you can see what actually fits inside. So here I have packed my Uptown pouch. It actually fits a lot more than I think people would think. If you open it up here, I have packed it and it's not overly stuffed. If you want to get a side view of it, here is what it looks like when it has been packed and filled. But inside I have kind of just packed my essentials, really thinking of like where I would take this bag. And usually it would be to like an event or dinner, somewhere where I didn't really need a ton of items. So I have put a pack of gum and a tampon very important if you are a person who gets your period my phone which this is an iphone 12 pro max um a card case and i would use in this one a flat card case you can't really use a bigger wallet or anything like that um you can also just leave your you know cards floating around in there if you don't want to use a card case and then a lipstick and finally my car key. Next, I've packed up the clutch. So let's open it up and see what I put in here. I think it fits a little bit more than the Uptown pouch. So I have put my AirPods, a lip gloss, tampon, pack of gum, a flat card case, my iPhone 12 Pro Max, my car key and a lipstick now i've also attached a chain that i bought on amazon for about eight dollars i'll link it below it's something that i've seen other people doing and i wanted to give it a try the chain that i bought it's not an exact exact gold match for the hardware but honestly i don't think it's anything that anybody will notice and for eight bucks i mean you can't really beat the price and you get the same exact look as the walk i mean this retails for half the price of the walk my walk is 15.90 and that's because it has the black hardware so i think the clutch especially with this chain that i've added from amazon is really going to be a contender for the top spot of these three SLGs, but let's check out what fits in the wok and see. All right guys, so I have packed the wok with the exact same items that I have put in the clutch and it is actually a little bit tougher to close than the clutch. So I'm going to see if I can close it, but honestly, I really think that the center compartment in the wok takes away from the 
capacity of this bag and the fact that the clutch does not have a center compartment really helps it. But I have to kind of force it closed, which it's like, I don't really want to do that for my bag. But um, if we open it up, let's just pull everything out, see how everything fits inside. You could fit maybe a smaller item, but, um, but yeah, the walk doesn't have a ton of capacity. You can skip the card holder by using the card slots, but honestly, this doesn't take a whole lot of space in the walk. So that doesn't really make a difference to me, but I have my AirPods in this as well, my gum, my phone, and my key. And then just comparing them side by side, the walk is a little bit wider than the clutch, but I think because the clutch as I said, doesn't have that center compartment, is able to stretch out a little bit more and fit the items more comfortably. Um, now comparing the two chains that I bought so you get an idea of how they differ. The YSL is just is a little thinner than the one that I purchased from Amazon and of course it's in the black. Um, I purchased the gold. If you were to get the walk with the chain from YSL, it would be a perfect match as far as the hardware goes but I don't think it makes that much of a difference and I don't think that it's something that anybody is going to notice. If I were to have to choose between the walk and the clutch, I think I would choose the clutch. It's a much better value at half the price of the walk. It's a lot more versatile. It fits the same amount of stuff, if not maybe even a little bit more. I think the fact that it's a little bit taller than the walk also helps in that respect. So between these two, my vote is going to go to the clutch. Now between the uptown pouch and the clutch, I'm also going to have to go with the clutch. I mean, this is a lower price point, so if you are on a budget, this is a perfectly good clutch to get. As you see, it fits a lot more than you would think, being that it's so thin. But this, I think, is a little bit more versatile. I love the quilting of the bag. I love that it has this little wristlet. And then adding the chain from Amazon also gives it more versatility. This is a bag that I would probably use for an event or dinner. so. Chances are I might not even use the chain at all, but I found it a lot more comfortable to use than the wallet on chain. So guys, that's it for this video. What did you think? Did you have a favorite of the three? Do you agree with my choice? Do you own any of these? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Until the next time, bye. living.